Hello and welcome to It's Tomorrow News. Himalayan glaciers are thought to be sensitive to climate forcing due to high altitude and significant debris cover variation. In the western Himalaya, glacier fluctuations are known for a limited number of glaciers. The results of the present day study indicate that most of the glaciers declining rate started slowing down compared to the results of other studies carried out for the period prior to 2001. Glaciers in Himalayas over a period of the last 100 years behave in contrasting ways. An example, Kangri's glacier has practically not retreated even an inch in the same period. Siachen Glacier is believed to have shown an advance of about 700 meters between 1862 and 1909. Gangotri Glacier, which had hitherto been showing a rather rapid retreat along its glacier front at an average of around 20 meters per year, till up to 2000 AD has since slowed down considerably and between September 2007 and June 2009 is practically at a standstill. The same is true of the Bhagirath, Kharak and Zemu glaciers. The observed downward trend in summer temperature and runoff is consistent with the observed thickening and expansion of Karakoram glaciers in contrast to widespread decay and retreat in the eastern Himalayas. This suggests that the western Himalayas are showing a different response to global warming than other parts of the globe. More than 35 glaciers are advancing, mid glaciers thickening in dozen others and a sudden increase in glacial surges. Many glaciers start from ice caps that flow to the terminus with continuous flow from snow collecting area to the glacier snot. Many of those in the Himalayas are avalanche fed. The growth of such glaciers depends not just on precipitation then but on the frequency of avalanches. It could happen for example that increased temperature in the mountains caused increased avalanching thereby thickening the glaciers and causing increased flow. Noting the Chota Shigri seems to be representative of other glaciers in the Pir Panjal range conclude many western Himalaya glaciers may have experienced growth rather than shrinkage during the last 10-12 years of 20th century. A highly heterogeneous special pattern of changes in glacier elevation which shows the ice thinning and ablation at high rates can occur on debris covered glacier tongues and which results in the regional mass balance just positive at positive 0.11, positive 0.22 meters year water equivalent. Glacier expansion or speed up consistent with this result has been previously reported. Thus the most recent studies have found the glaciers of the Indian subcontinent are receding at a much slower pace in comparison to what they were about a few decades back or even growing in places of Hindu Kosh, Karakoram and Western Himalayas. This glacial growth seems to be driven by a quirk of the atmosphere general circulation that is not understood. More snow is being delivered to the mountain range at present and less heat. For more updates, stay tuned with us. For It's Tomorrow News, it's Vishal Shah signing off.